People across Colorado hope there is never another Marshall fire. Because hope is not a strategy, firefighters from across the Front Range practice some new ways to communicate today. They're preparing for the next mega fire. Our Mark Salinger was there. The calm of a fall afternoon changes quickly. And they're going to come in here and they're going to be coming in full speed as if there was a real fire. The trucks arrive, firefighters run, and the drills begin. You've got uh, the fire is starting to arrive on the backside. In this neighborhood in Aurora, the fires today are made of cardboard. And what we're doing is we're putting signs up that say, for instance, spot fire. They're preparing for the time when smoke fills the air and the flames are real. The goal is to, to provide um, common tactics and common terminology between departments. Uh, no department is big enough to manage these fires. Justin White is an instructor. The training today is the first of its kind. Five departments from across the Front Range, hosted by Aurora Fire Rescue, practicing together for the next time the fire is far too big to handle by themselves. So I think we look at every fire every year. Um, most recently is the fire that happened in Maui. You know, what is it that, you know, we can learn from their fire? From the Marshall Fire to Waldo Canyon, the biggest fires come with lessons. Justin knows when there are dozens of departments working together on a massive fire, everyone does things differently. Training like this aims to change that. I think the challenge is communication. As with any of those incidents, you have a, a large group of agencies coming from a very diverse range of communities. Talk me through um, real quick, what what uh, what you guys do, what your process look like. Urban wildfires are happening more often, so the training for them is changing. It's very critical that they keep their fire engines out of the way um, so that as uh, as they're deploying and, and actively engaged in the firefight, um, we're able to actually get citizens out as well. As the trucks pull out, it's back to calm again. Better prepared for the next time. This is for real. All our departments, we treat these events as when they're going to happen instead of if they're going to happen. Fire departments do certain things in different ways. So while they're all trying to accomplish the same goal, things like terminology are different. Tactics can change and it can be hard to communicate. The goal is now to get everyone on the same page using the same, using the same standards. And Kyle firefighters know that they'll have to put this training to use probably sooner rather than later. It really did seem, Mark, up there on the day of the Marshall Fire, that it was it was everybody in their mother who was up there in terms of various agents. Yeah, you were there and you probably saw all those different fire departments and police departments and everyone. A hundred different police and fire departments showed up to help that day. You can imagine when everybody's using different terms, different language, different mm -hmm. tactics, it's chaos. All right, Mark Salinger, thank you very much.